we end up choosing the windiest days to do our filming, but it is what it is. What's more important is the topic we're going to address today. And that's how EMF affects our pets, our dogs, man's best friend. See, this one's well trained, it behaves very well. But one of the things that isn't addressed in YouTube dog training is how EMF can be affecting our dog's behavior. I've seen some of these animal behavior videos and they talk about how to control your animal with uh, treats, with uh, shock collars, things of that nature. But maybe your uh, dog is misbehaving because you haven't provided it with the best conditions for it to thrive. If you think about it this way, EMF, the studies are conducted on rats, not humans, right? And rats are closer related to dogs than us. So if you think you're having effects of EMF exposure, your dog is having more of those symptoms than us as human beings. That's just the way it is. So if your dog is uh, has a sense of unease, um, you can see issues in behavior. Um, maybe it's having trouble sleeping. It seems agitated. Come here, kid. Rat comes right over. It's a good dog. Uh, it could be due to EMF exposure. So I'm going to throw in a picture right here and I'm going to show how I had my dog, uh, where I had his dog bed, which was incorrect. Okay, so you see that. Um, before I became aware to uh, the harms, the potential harms of EMF, this is how I had my dog uh, set up. And uh, I can tell you the dog did not prefer to sleep on its bed. So it would avoid the bed if it could, right? And uh, a quick follow up to that picture, right? If I had the source, I would link it down below, but I can't remember at this time. I read a story about a dog owner who had a dog and he had the exact same setup. He had the dog bed by the electrical outlet. The dog he had developed cancer and passed away. A few months later, uh, the same owners got another dog, a different type of dog, kept the bed at the same location. And the new dog, which was only three, four, five months old, had developed the same type of cancer and shortly after passed away. At that point, they thought, hey, maybe it's something environmental. Maybe it's not the dogs themselves. Maybe it's an environmental issue. So they addressed the elephant in the room, which was EMF exposure. So that being said, the point of this video is how can we uh, affect the situation in a positive way? And there's two ways we do that. One is with avoidance and two is with distancing. So of course, if we can avoid the exposure to the dogs, then that's the best approach of all. But of course the dogs live with us, so the exposure is inevitable. But the second thing we can do is basically offer a level of distance between our pets and um, the source of EMF. So if it comes down to it, you can move the dog bed to a better area, um, you can have uh, your computer room be in a separate, a separate area where uh, the dog likes to hang out at. Simple things like that, right? So we're going to leave you with that today and uh, hopefully this video was informative. Thank you.